Hi, so I'm here to talk to you about the white crow. I'm experimenting, seeing if this works as a thumbnail instead of making one because I don't like it uh, visually. Anyways, I think this is clear. It's the white crow. It's a movie review. So the story is, uh, well, it's a biographical, biographic? film about Rudolf Nureyev and it focuses on his defection to the West. Um, its, uh, its name is based on, a, on an expression in Russia, uh, Belaya Verona, which means nonconformist, um, outsider, uh, you know, and it became the White Crow. Uh, who directs it? Uh, Ray Fiennes directs, directs it. Uh, you know Ray Fiennes. You know him from uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel, the Hogwarts, Ex Hogwarts Express, the 007 Skyfall, the Harry Potter um, movie, uh, The Heart Locker. You know, uh, as a director, and he directs here, as a director, he this is his third movie. He did the uh, Korea... Coriolanus, I didn't see it, uh, in The Invisible Woman, who that actually got a nomination for Best Costume uh, for the Oscars. So what can I say about his direction style? Well, he, it, it's not... This is a very uh, toned-down movie. The presence of a director is not that um, that strong if you will. He follows some classical rules. I, I don't want to use wrong terms. I, I am not an expert in movies. I've, I've had some workshops about movie history and stuff. I, I don't want to, you know, mix uh, terms. But when I, what do I mean by classic um, style or... Well, he uses the flashbacks, he uses, uh, he mixes, uh, he, he, he plays with linearity. I, I'm not sure if this word exists, with, with the timeline. He plays a bit with it, but um, I am not sure he's proficient. Um, at, at some point, I was a little confused. Well, is this 1961 or is this 1969? But, you know, uh, I thought that the flashbacks uh, could have worked better if maybe it was just one big flashback. I don't know. Uh, in what do I mean by classic? I mean, uh, it, there's not much movement in his style, and there is, uh, and there is. Uh, well, he uses cinematography very classically. I, I hope I'm not using the term wrong. What do I mean by this? I mean that. Um, you know, the, the current, uh, the flashbacks have other colors and the further back, uh, the more gray uh, or maybe not gray, but the, the, you know, darker tones. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain this. I'm not ex an expert on cinematography, by the way. I'm going to put this down now. Um, the cinematographer is Mike Ely. He's very experienced. He did United 93, Notting Hill, Love Actually, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel and stuff. So this is a good cinematographer and the cinematographer, uh, cinematography is quite present there. Um, but as I said, um, he uses it in sort of a classic way. I, I, I hope I'm not using this term wrong. I mean in a conservative way, maybe. You know, the, the flashbacks uh, using darker tones as they go back. You know what I mean. Uh, what do I have to say about this movie? Let me tell you about the music. The music is also very present here. And he it's the responsibility of Elon Eshkeri. He's a very experienced composer. He actually composes for this, this um, uh, movie and uh, the violin solos are by Lisa Batiashvili. The music is beautiful. It's classical, obviously. It's for ballet, obviously, but it's beautiful. It's present throughout the whole thing. Art is present throughout the whole thing. It's a very uh, in that. It's for people who appreciate the fine arts in the classical fine arts, uh, let's say. Um, but I, I like that. I like it's sort of conservative in that way, and I like that. Uh, I think it worked. I, I think it, it probably it's based on the biography of Nuriev. So, oh, by the way, um, this movie is, is inspired by the book uh, Rudolf Nuriev: The Life by Julie Kavanaugh. Uh, so. Uh, uh, 
Nuriev apparently uh, liked art and he went to look at paintings and um, it's beautiful in that way. It shows paintings, it discusses paintings and it, it, the music, the classical music is very present. It's got Tchaikovsky, it's got Alexander Crane and uh, Ludwig Minkus and it also has some uh, uh, compositions by Ilan Eshkeri. Beautiful compositions and the violin solos uh, are beautiful, so beautiful for people who appreciate classical music. It's definitely a, a, a soundtrack to, to acquire. Um, so the main character is Nuriev, and it's focused on his defection. And where do you get a Nuriev? So they casted a Ukrainian dancer. Uh, experts say that he doesn't quite reach the level of Nuriev, but I wouldn't know, so I got convinced. Sometimes, however, uh, my eye kind of fled to the his partner, uh, the, the, the dancer that uh, slept in his room and the dancer that was also the protagonist of the ballet that they are going to, uh, to perform. Uh, my eye, instead of saying, maybe for aesthetical reasons, I'm not sure, but sometimes even uh, in the dance, it kind of fled to, uh, I think it was Yuri, the name of the character. I'm not sure that's a good, that's a good, uh, that's good. <laughs> so anyway, this Oleg Ivenko, he's the Ukrainian dancer. Uh, he did this one movie. He didn't do any other movies. And if this is the one movie he made, he's a good actor. Because my God, he's playing a biographical character. Wow. Uh, I think that if, if this guy just did one movie, I think he's brilliant without any uh, any experience in he does Nuriev I'm my god you know uh, Jesus uh, congratulations anything I say that I didn't like forget it I mean if he did just one movie wow uh, fabulous Ray Fiennes also has a, a character here he plays um, one of his teachers Pushkin uh, his main teacher a Russian teacher um <sighs> Uh, he he, al he always speaks Russian. I wish I knew that it, if if he did a good job because I think it's amazing that he learned a whole language for this. Uh, so I don't know if he did a good job. If you don't mind commenting, I would like to know. Uh, Ray Fine's character speaks Russian. Okay, <laughs> that's not easy to do. Um, so my notes. I'm not going to say much more about this. Um. I'm going to I'm going to say this. I identified with the character, but this is this is a personal thing. I identified with the character because of his intensity and sometimes he's uh not being able to contain his bad temper. It is egotistical and it is kind of childish, but I get it. Um he had a hard life. He was like a, a tiger in a cage. I mean, I totally identify with that. There are some moments that just brought tears to my eyes. In fact, to my eyes. In fact, I actually just cried at in some moments because I identify with that. I identify with the lack of freedom, and I identify with the fact that you want to be something and you just can't. Uh, and you, and sometimes that um, prison kind of. Um, comes out as, well, bad temper, and you just can't contain it. Uh, thank God now, me as a person, I, I, I'm, I think I'm evolved beyond that uh, most of the times, but I get it, and I, I also get why he ends up, like, kind of using people, because he doesn't quite, you know, the, the relationships in the, in the human interaction is kind of hard for him. I get it. I get it on a deep level. It's hard to explain, but I, I totally get it. Uh, I mean, you have too many wounds to care about someone else. You, you don't even know how to, you know, just put yours to bed. So that intensity, I think Oleg uh, Ivenko, he had it and he delivered it very well. And Ray Fiennes explored it very well. Um, some critics, uh, critics say that Nuriev was, um, a, a, this movie is asexual and Nuriev had a notorious sexual life. 
I, uh, what can I say? I don't think, I think, uh, bisexuality is there i think it's it's um hinted and in, in, in it's it's present uh i think even in some shots which i found interesting even even before i knew that i i don't know that much about uh Nureyev's biography so i was expecting to be um surprised and i was uh even before I knew that there was uh, that he was bisexual or whatever, whatever the label, um, I kind of got that from some shots, which is brilliant. Uh, as as a director, uh, I think it's brilliant. Another thing I think it's brilliant is the resolution of this movie. So this is about his defection, and that scene is very intense. It's so intense, uh, or or maybe it is my it is because I identify myself with the character. I don't know. Um, I I found that it was intense. It was one of the most intense scenes I've seen lately, and and, and it worked amazingly. And and it's so uh, it uh, thinking about it kind of makes me emotional because it's very uh, you feel it someone that has to risk everything and and, and 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 you have to be selfish you finally openly have to be selfish and make that choice it's it's one freaking well uh, uh, well done scene uh yeah, well you can see me um what else can i say uh the negatives i think it um uh, I would have maybe liked a little more information about his l previous life, to, to uh, previous to this, to these uh, moments. Um, the movie shows us something about his his uh, childish uh, uh, childhood, and then focus on the when he gets to, uh, when he enters the company and he has a more uh, proficient. Uh, education in ballet and then the you know his first trip to the west um i would have liked to have known more about what made nuriev be that character you know be that egotistical be that a little bit more about his hard life although i think i think it's enough to understand it, it's very contained and quite frankly that may be one of the positives because it's very contained it's it's very conservative it's very held down uh, the direction the way that it's the, the character is portrayed everything is very held down and we are talking about that you know that's why he runs um so that is probably a positive i i was very um moved by this movie so i loved it uh no matter what I'm saying, I loved it. It moved me deeply. Um, so the soundtrack is great. The character, the way that it's portrayed, although it's a bit flat, is intense. Uh, the, the Oleg Ivenko, I think he did a great job if this is his first movie. I think it's brilliant. And the resolution, my God, it's strong. Um, so I absolutely recommend this movie. It's for those people who like ballet and who like music and who like art and who like, um, well, obviously the ballet fans uh, could take something out of it. And um, I wouldn't say it's an incredibly entertaining movie, but it's an emotional movie. For me, it was. I'm not sure how much of my personality and my issues are uh, in what I'm saying here, but... Um, I totally recommend it. It really moved me. Uh, there are some details that they really moved me. Uh, if you ever felt like a tiger inside of a cage and you uh, want more freedom, I think you will identify with some stuff. And, and for me personally, there were some details like uh, there was this, uh, and this is very personal, very personal. There is this detail of him not exactly knowing how to behave and how to drink tea and how to use the napkin and stuff well i i wasn't taught any of that i'm also a peasant um and he reacts to that and um to me that was very intense also a scene when he mistreats somebody 
because he's not able to deal with um, what he thinks somebody's thinking of him. I mean, we've all had that feeling, and that was in the obviously the resolution. It's uh, to me some scenes just just came straight to my heart, so I have to recommend it. Um, kudos to you, Roy Fiennes. I loved your movie. If you don't agree with me, if you think I'm crazy, if you think uh, I'm right, if you think I'm way off, if you think I'm cute, if you think I'm ugly, if you think whatever, please comment. Uh, just say like or don't like or do whatever you want. Uh, and if you think that I am saying some stuff that's worth watching, uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you for watching and uh, go to the movies.